Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome you back to episode 18, I'm pretty sure it is, of Legends of Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, I left you to suspense as we were about to come in here and fight the boss. But as you can see, there's no boss in here, what the hell? Well, actually, you want to put a bomb there, and watch go boom! Like a turtle. And you want to blow that up before getting this chest, because this chest contains... Bombs. So if you picked up this chest before and you had a full bomb bag, then it would have gone to waste. So anyways, now you want to take a suicide leap. <gasps> yeah. And Link doesn't even need to bend his knees when he lands. That's just how badass he is. Whoa, wait a minute. What is that? Um... This is... This might... Oh, holy crap! It is... Oh my god, this guy's so scary, he doesn't even have eyes. Well, he's actually pretty pretty much as easy as Goma. You just gonna throw a bomb in his mouth when he opens up to to spit at you. And then he'll and then just wail on him with a sword or a Daegu dick. Your choice. And then when he rolls at you, you just go up to the side a little bit and he'll miss you every time. This is not a hard boss, really. They could have made this a lot harder. And they even have bomb. Oh my god, oh my god, throw it, throw it, hurry. Oh my god, I missed. Yeah, well, at least I got to show off his attack. And here's his rolling attack again. Yeah, they even put bomb flowers on the corners of the room just in case you run out of bombs if you're a noob. Like I was a noob and I missed his mouth because I was in far enough away. Like, if you're just a little bit stronger, you would have got him. See, was that so hard, Link? And now, I guess we can get a jump attack on him. And I believe just one more round of that, and he will be done. That's really all there is to it. Actually, I'm just going to equip my Deku shield back on. And, yep. Go back around this way. And, once again, throw a ball. Don't set it down, Link! What the hell? I have never ever failed at this boss once as much as I have just now. It's the Elpier's Curse, you guys. The Elpier's Curse. It's a real thing, oh, trust me. God, even Nintendo Capri Sun hasn't failed this much. Oh my god, oh my god. Throw it! You dumbass! Oh my god. Am I really failing at King Dodongo? Am I really failing at King Dodongo? Don't tell me that I am. I'm not. I know I'm not. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not failing at King Dodongo. Throw it! Oh my god, thank you. Finisher! Or not. Man, another round? Are you serious? Are you for serious, King Dodongo? Sorry for that. Uh, we're back to this. We're back to family at King Dodongo. And... This should be the last one. There you go. Was that so hard? Look, was that so hard? You had, you made it so much harder than it actually had to be. So he just rolls away. He hits the corners, and now he rolls into that. Oh, oh, pain, 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 oh, pain. Oh my God, he's dying in lava. He's dying in lava. Oh, the steering pain. Oh my gosh, it's so painful. Oh my God, oh my God, look at his fingers. Rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on. And with that, we get another heart container. You got a heart container! Yes. Yes, I did. Thank you for telling me. Rock on, King Dodongo. Rock on. Oh, I was just checking something. Sorry. So, anyways, now we're gonna step into the light again. Don't step into the light, Link. Stay away from the light! And with that, we get warped to outside of the Dodongo's ca of the Dodongo's cavern. Was that what I was saying? And oh, jeez, he tried to body slam me. What a dick! That would have hurt so much. That would have broken every single bone in my body. Oh, Tarzan, he's the king of the jungle. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Oh, we did it again. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. That's not very healthy. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. 
that wasn't really great numbers. There were like less. There were about ten of them in there, and that big rock block in the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by the Gerudo thief Ganondorf. <gasps> no, he said. Give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. Well, I like you too, Darunia. How's it about you and me become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our virtue. And with that, we will get our second spiritual stone. You obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers. Yeah, I do. Shut up. But you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Really? I thought that three minus two equals seven. Brother, you c you'll be you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? No, I'm just gonna stop here. I'm not gonna get any more heart pieces or s sword techniques or anything. You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Not really. Well, kind of. But, yeah. Hey, everybody. Let's see off our brother. Oh, this is a funny scene. I love this. Dude. Dude. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Yeah, run away, Link. Run away. Oh, my God. It's scary. Run, Link. Run. And with that, none of the Gorons are left back there except the one that was there in the first place. And there's a tech guy here. Okay. Oh, I'm just about done with this recording session. It's been about 40 minutes so far. Not too bad. So anyways, really quick, I guess, before I end off this recording session, I can show you what's down here. Um, past these tech tights, you can come here. And there's this weird looking wall here. What's this about? Well, if you put a bomb there, and watch it go boom! There's a golden skull in there. And you can hit that. And, apparent, and it looks like that you can't actually reach that or get it in any way at all. But what I couldn't figure out for the longest time is that you could actually go up to the wall and climb. Yes, you can climb a rock wall without any hand or footholds. What an amazing guy. What a lucky guy. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to end off this video here. It might be a little bit short, but, you know what, my voice is getting tired, and, uh, pretty much covered everything I need to. So, oh, and it's turning into nighttime, which is not good, because I won't be able to see anything on the screen. So, this looks like the perfect time to end off the video. So, in the next episode, we're going to do something else. Because, so, like I said, that's what we're going to be for the entire game. This is our Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.